Hello everyone, this is Charlie McDermott alongside Beck Anderson with your Brother Rice Standard Newscast. This past week, Brother Rice celebrated their 2014 Homecoming Spirit Week. The students were freed from regular dress code and were able to wear outfits that represented various themes for each day. On Monday, each student was able to wear a shirt that represented his grammar school. Tuesday and Wednesday featured Chicago Cubs socks and Bears dress down days, respectively. The city of Chicago was featured as the Thursday theme, and on Friday, the Crusaders proudly displayed their Brother Rice Crusader Crazy Orange in support of the homecoming rally and game against St. Louis. <laughs> on September 27th, Brother Rice held its annual homecoming dance. The theme for the dance was Celebrate Chicago. The decorations near the stage represented the Chicago skyline. The dance was attended by 800 young men and women and was chaperoned by the faculty and staff of Brother Rice. Couples shuffled onto the gym and danced the night away. The dance was very successful and couples walked away happy after spending a great night at Brother Rice. On Tuesday, September 23rd to the 26th, 41 seniors partook in the first Kairos of the year. Our own Charlie McDermott here talked to Brother Rice's campus minister, Mr. Augustine, about the trip. He said, Kairos 130 was a huge success. All the leaders did a great job, and at the end, the kids were thanking me for recommending Kairos to them. Also, Charlie sat down with Jack Collins, a member of Kairos 130. Jack said Kairos was one of the best experiences of his life. He enjoyed every minute of it, and he hopes he can return later this year to lead the next retreat. The Brother Rice football team took on the St. Lawrence Vikings for the annual homecoming football game on Friday, September 26. The Crusaders improved to 4-1 on the year, trouncing the Vikings 34-7. Key players in the game were Northern Illinois commit Marcus Jones and quarterback Alex Alarcon. Both players are a huge part of the Crusader offense as Marcus rushed for 118 yards and two touchdowns. Alex Alarcon was 12 of 19 passing, throwing for 216 yards. Keep working hard, Crusaders. Distracted driving is a common occurrence in our society, with the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration reporting that 71% of people have admitted to texting while driving. Standard Newscast reporters Eddie Berry and Jake Munoz put together this feature piece on distracted driving. What is distracted driving? Most people think it simply means texting while driving, but it also includes texting to others on the phone and in the car, eating and drinking, and grooming. According to the National Highway Association, 71% of students say they have texted while driving, while another 78% have admitted to reading text while behind the wheel. We asked staff if they knew anyone who had been affected by distracted driving. I was affected by it. Um, I was foolish and I used to text and drive. And uh, about a year ago, I was driving to Chicago Ridge Mall and I nearly got rear-ended because I was looking down. I nearly rear-ended somebody and almost got rear-ended. The big question is, how can we prevent distracted driving in the future? Yeah, all right. I think. I feel like that we can prevent distracted driving by muting your phones so that you won't be tempted to look at it and get in a car crash. Yeah, the education is important not only in the home by parents constantly, you know, warning kids about the dangers, but also in school. Thanks for watching this week's standard newscast and don't forget to subscribe to our Bella Rice channel.